Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian, and if you are watching this video, it's because you picked origami lights for your subscription box this month. So, you can see that you've got the instructions in your box for how to fold, but sometimes origami instructions are really difficult to do in two dimensions. So, I'm going to walk you through how to fold those in this next video, how to put them on your light string. Let's take a look. Okay, so today we are going to learn how to fold some origami boxes. I'm going to start out on just a plain sheet of paper. We're going to turn it diamond shaped and I'm going to bring the bottom corner up to the top corner and fold the sheet in half. We're going to turn it so that line runs down the middle and again bottom corner up to the top corner, which is going to leave you with kind of an X from corner to corner on your paper. Now with that X kind of poking up in the middle, I'm going to take the bottom line up to the top line and I'm going to fold it in half and do the same thing again. So then we're going to have kind of a plus sign. And then with that pyramid in the middle, I'm going to kind of pull it all together, squish that, and when I lay it flat, I have basically got a triangle shape. And you can kind of see where everything goes. Okay, so I'm going to take that outside corner and I'm going to fold it up to the top of my triangle. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to leave us with kind of a diamond in the middle. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do the same thing with the outside corners on the back side. Okay. Now when you look at this shape, you can see those kind of loose triangle corners. Those are what we want on the bottom. So those will face down. But right now I'm going to take the middle corners and fold them in to that center line. And we're going to do it top and bottom on one side, and then we're going to do the top and bottom on the other side. Those corners will meet up in the middle and that's okay so now you want to take those bottom and corner and I'm going to fold it along the edge there so it kind of pokes out to the side flat then I'm going to take that outside corner and bring it back to the middle and what that's going to do is it's going to make a real nice little tab because inside, inside here is sort of like a little pocket that you can tuck that tab right into and then push it flat. So the bottom corner folded against that line outside. Then we're going to bring the outside corner back into the middle, which is going to make that little tiny tab that gets inserted right into the pocket. And if you guessed we are going to do the exact same thing to the other side, you are 100% right. Turn your whole design over and we're going to do that same thing two more times. So a little tab gets folded into the pocket and then the final time, make the tiny tab and then push it right into that pocket. And what that's going to do is we've kind of got four little spinny things and a hole right in the middle. And if you blow into that hole, it's going to inflate and give you this kind of cube shape. And you can kind of rework it to make it a, a little more cube-like. If it starts to fold in again, you can always inflate it again by blowing into that hole that's on the edge. And on the paper that you guys got, um, you'll notice there is a design on one side, but a plain color on the other, and you can use whichever you like. Okay, so once you have your boxes inflated, um, you should be able to take one of those lights, and it should pretty easily go right inside, and you wanna go all the way past the light, past the white plastic, because that's what will make sure that it stays on that string of lights for you. 
one down and only about 49 left to go. <laughs> and that is how to make origami boxes for your light string. I hope you had a good time with this and it wasn't too tricky to follow along. I hope to see you back next month for another Trash Panda Treasures subscription box. Uh, I get to use one of my favorite jokes now. It's a dad joke, but I will see you all next year.